veteran and Donnie, our internment crew as a U.S. Army veteran, we're going to unfold the flag and present it to you, David, okay? Okay.
States, the United States Army, and the Great Nation. Please accept this flag as a symbol of your love and honorable and faithful service to this country. And on behalf of the Department of Veterans Affairs, please accept this presidential memorial certificate in honor of your father serving his country. You're very welcome. I'll turn everything over to the Legacy Services. Well, we've come all the way with Charles. <laughs> the man who came to my life as a teenager, a young girl, and up to this stage, he has been in my life, and thank God for all that he has poured into me, as well as all of you. Our church uh, is better because of him, when he poured into the ministry there all these many, many years, and having you raised there with us, and see you get married and have children. It's just a wonderful legacy that has been left. I want to say that uh, we have Pastor Rod, who could not be here today. He's got two babies. Mm -hmm. Bishop Caesar altered his schedule for the funeral, or else he would have missed that. Mm -hmm. But they're in another state today. But you, I don't think he has to prove anything to you. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. <laughs> he was there for you, for yes. your dad, mm -hmm. until the very end. Yes. So, you know, we just want to give God credit for a life well lived. I was thinking as the presentations were being made, how your dad was a proud man. Not haughty, but proud. Mm -hmm. And this would make him proud mm -hmm. to have a, mm -hmm. a, a, a citation for the president, a flag. He loved all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And he loved his grandchildren. He knew everything you did, mm -hmm. all the graduations and all of those things. Mm -hmm. So God is faithful. Yes. He is living. He lived to live again. Yes. And now he's, he's better off than we are. Yes. And not quite as cold. Yes. <laughs> move right ahead <laughs> and move on. Amen? Amen. So Amen. our hearts still cling to this body because we cannot disassociated from the beloved one who dwelt in it and who animated it. But it is really only the worn out garment which has now been cast aside. Hence, while reverencing it because of the tender memories that gather about it, we now consign it to its original element, looking with confidence to the fashioning of that perfect body which is in Christ Jesus. For as much as it has pleased Almighty God and his wise providence to take out of this world the soul of our deceased brother, who therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, looking for the general resurrection in the last day and the life of the world to come through our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose second coming in glorious majesty he will judge the world, then the earth and the sea will give up their dead, and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed and made like unto his own glorious body, according to the mighty working whereby he is able to subdue all things unto himself. And for the believer, this verse is so beautiful. For the Lord himself shall be sent from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, we are to comfort one another with these words. So, Father, we thank you. We thank you again for the life of Charles Washington. We thank you, Lord God, for how you used him to be a giant in the area of ministry and finance and business and the tremendous impact that he had on all of us. Each of us will leave with memories today that are very distinct and different, but each will find a blessing in the fact that he was a part of our lives. We commit this family to you, Lord God. You are the God of all comfort. You are the God of peace and strength. So we know that even as they go with their tender memories, oh God, that they, the memory of him being in their lives will bless them in the days, weeks, and months to come. We pray for traveling mercies as we leave. And Lord, we know that one day soon and very soon, and possibly sooner than we think, we will be reunited again with him. In Jesus' name we pray and thank you. With praise and thanksgiving, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Can I please have everybody lift your flower above your head? And can I three? I want everybody to sing love. Oh. I said three. It's <laughs> <laughs> great to smile in the face of sorrow. God made it so. Amen. 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 Let's do this right. On the count of three, everybody say love. One, two, three. Love. love. The flower that I hold in my hand, the flower that you hold in your hand, represents love, peace, and prosperity. 
As you hold your flower, I want you to pour all your reflections into the flower of the good times, the bad times, the thanksgivings, Christmases. Can't your hair. Oh boy. Going upstate and having grits, <laughs> sausage, <laughs> eggs, bacon, toast, and still have to go outside and play outside. Amen? <laughs> the flower that I hold in my hand represents love, peace, and prosperity. For all those who could not be here, they give you a love, peace, and prosperity. As I place this flower on the casket, I want everybody to say amen. 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 You may do so for your time, or you may hold your flower for symbolic reasoning of your love that you have for my Uncle Charles. Mm -hmm. You may place them in the castle at this time. Yeah. <laughs> I almost broke down for a second. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. All right. We now, we we now depart, depart, depart in God's peace. In God's God's peace. peace. Amen. 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 This concludes our services here at Long Island National Cemetery. Again, on behalf of the staff, myself, and the director, our deepest condolences. I did explain to David that today will be a really bad day to witness the internment. We have some wonderful restaurants in the area. If you guys want to go get something to eat as he's being rested with his wife come back we can go by the gravesite so you guys can pay your respects but after the weather last night it wouldn't be a good idea okay. so, yeah. so we will conclude the service and like you can please go back to your car the service will be all right